TMG fam, it's your boy L, and I'm back, man. We back with another Strangest Things Caught on Camera episode, all right? Now, today's video we're checking out is going to be actually the creepiest discoveries made by YouTubers. Now, I know I'm, I'm the same way. I know y'all be thinking the same as me sometimes. You got to be careful with some of these YouTubers, bro, because a lot of this stuff be, some of this stuff be staged. You know what I mean? They go the extra, extra mile to get these views and these likes, man, and this attention, bro. I was thinking I was here another day, uh, two twins, um, or, or two YouTubers, they were twins or something like that, got arrested or, or something for a robbery prank that, not the one that we checked out in the video, this is something new, like this is like a trend that's going on or something, that they're out here pulling actual robbery pranks, bro, and they were getting arrested, like, I, I just don't understand what's going through your mind. And and that's the thing. They're not thinking, bro. This stuff is really taking a hold of them, man. So, but uh, anyway, getting off into a little tangent right there. The creepiest discoveries made by YouTubers, all right? Let's check this video out. Shout outs to Slap Ham for the video. Here we go. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Ham from one YouTuber who discovered a great white shark in an abandoned wildlife park to another who found a disturbing vampire doll in an ancient abandoned wildlife park they left the shark <laughs> that's <whew. laughs> graveyard today we're looking at the creepiest discoveries made by youtubers but just quickly before we get into these fascinating stories remember to hit that subscribe button for more awesome creepy content just like this thing I'm thinking about is that shark right now and like what would happen if somebody would have stumbled you thinking that place is abandoned you're not thinking nothing's in the water accidentally fall and realize that you're not alone bro in November 2018 youtuber Lukey MC made a truly creepy discovery while exploring an abandoned wildlife park in Victoria Australia look at it bro hold on look at it the grass is done grown all the way up trees. It gives you the whole abandoned vibe. So the last thing in your mind is that a shark is is in in, in there. <laughs> in there. So I be trying to tell y'all, man, be careful on going out in these places, man, and doing these like these ghosts. Imagine doing one of those ghost explorations in one of these videos. And like I said, you running through there and you fall in some water. And that's it. <laughs> Discovery while exploring an abandoned wildlife park in Victoria, Australia. The video begins with the camera holder and a friend entering a dilapidated wooden shack that leads into a bizarre cave-like structure. He comments on the vile smell as they pass several small alcoves, one of which contains an overturned vending machine, while another holds an old table and chairs. The walls are littered with faded pictures of Australian animals. The pair make their way down a long dark tunnel before once again emerging into sunlight. They pass an overgrown enclosure that once housed some sort of animal before entering another rundown building. The structure appears to have been a living area, possibly designed for guests to stay overnight while visiting the park. The camera holder peeks into a half open fridge that still contains jars of food. A large container of rancid milk sits on the bottom shelf. The explorers continue to look around the derelict building. The broken furniture littered across the floor suggests that someone's been here before or is possibly still living inside. Cautiously, the pair move on. They approach a wall that looks as though it's been ripped down, revealing what appears to be a secret storage space. Again, seeing all of this, right? You're more worried about, typically, you're more worried about somebody being here, a squatter or something like that. So you're paying attention to your surroundings, like, okay, making sure nobody's in here. We're, we're going through this place. You're thinking squatter. You're not thinking shark. Shark. That doesn't creep into your mind. I'm, I'm anxious to see how he discovers this. The two decide to enter the strange room. It becomes darker and darker the further they go in. 
Unable to see clearly, the camera holder pans a light around the room. He notices a large tank that appears to be filled with some sort of dark liquid. Unable to see inside, the two explorers make their way around to the opposite side of the tank. Suddenly, the pair realize that they're staring at the tail of a very large creature. One of the explorers can be heard saying, that is creepy as, as the camera holder slowly pans the length of the tank, revealing the beast's gigantic body and finally its head and huge teeth filled mouth. I was about to say, ain't no way that could be. It's gotta be fake, bro. Whew. I was like, cause then I started thinking in my mind, how, what is it eating all this time? It's no way it could have survived in there. What has it eaten? After this video went viral, Luki MC was contacted by the previous owner of the park, who informed him that the giant creature was in fact a 5 meter long great white shark. It was moved to the tank after becoming entangled in fishing nets and dying off the coast of South Australia. The dark liquid in the tank was actually formaldehyde, a chemical needed to preserve the specimen. When the park was a- So he was real? Oh. That's crazy, huh? Why wouldn't y'all take that? Eventually shut down, the owner was unable to find a new home for the shark, and so was forced to leave it behind in the ruined remains of this creepy old animal sanctuary. Hmm. Wow. This unsettling video was uploaded to RM Video's YouTube channel in March 2018. It shows a baby vampire doll with a bottle of blood sitting on top of an unmarked tombstone in a Brazilian. Watch the eyes, y'all. Look like the eyes, uh, like like one of them creepy paintings, bro. Like the eyes is following you. See that? This unsettling video was uploaded to RM Video's YouTube channel in March 2018. It shows a baby vampire doll with a bottle of blood sitting on top of an unmarked tombstone in a Brazilian graveyard. As the camera holder inspects the creepy doll, you can see its eyes appear to follow them as they move. Yes. When the video first surfaced, some viewers suggested that the doll might actually be possessed. Like, I noticed it before he even said something, bro. The eyes was following you, bro. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna see that in your dreams tonight. Promise you. Could contain the spirit of someone buried in the graveyard. Others thought that the doll might be an evil idol designed to summon a real vampire from its resting place. While it was later revealed that the doll was in fact the work of a sculptor, it made for a very creepy discovery. Certainly something you wouldn't want to come across while exploring a spooky old- How is it doing that? Cemetery. Popular YouTuber Exploring with Josh made a very creepy discovery in 2016, while exploring a cave in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest in Washington State. The cave, known as Ape Cave, is the longest continuous lava tube in the continental United States, and has long been a popular hiking destination. The cave received its bizarre name in 1924 when the residents of a small mining community became convinced that apes were throwing rocks into the canyon. The rumour persisted until 1984, when an elderly man came forward revealing that it was in fact he and a friend that had been throwing the rocks. As Josh and several others make their way towards the mouth of the cave, one of them can be heard saying, Oh God, this looks like something out of a horror movie. With lanterns in hand, the group slowly head into the darkness. At one point, the cave becomes so narrow they're forced to crawl on their hands and knees. The temperature begins to drop as icy breath can be seen coming from the mouths of the explorers. The cave now seems too small to continue, and the group contemplate return- I would be worried more so about like the gases that could be produced down there. Like you would need like, I hope they have like a four gas monitor or something like that in such of a confined space like that, bro. I would be worried about that. Yeah, I look more brave than, you know what I mean? And nah, that, that ain't brave, that's stupidity. <laughs> Y'all went down there without a foregrip. That's, that's stupidity. Let's, not, let's call it what it is. Turning back to the surface. However, just as they're about to turn back, they discover that the cave actually starts to widen once again. Now crawling on their stomachs, the group decides to press forward. Suddenly, they hear what sounds like someone crying in the distance. 
Scared, they slowly head towards the noise. One of the group shines a flashlight into the darkness, illuminating a young girl who is standing all alone. Extraordinarily, the girl had managed to crawl her way into the depths of the cave, all by herself without the use of a flashlight. They soon discover that she doesn't speak English. Motioning for her to follow them, the group lead her back to the surface where she's finally reunited with her worried parents. Alright, now the story just became fake. Let's analyze this real quick, all right? The story just became fake. Number one, does she look like... You see the them, when they breathe, the, the breath is visible because of how cold it is down there, right? Number one, she's not shivering or cold. Number two, don't look like she's been down there a long time. She don't have none of the dust or soot or anything of, of kind of... Do you know what I mean? Representation of the area that she's in. She looks pretty clean. The shoes she have on, Crocs look very clean. The shorts, clean. Shirt, clean. Her face, clean. Not too many smudges. Nothing on her looks like she's been down there for some time. Like, the links these YouTubers go to, bro, to to try to just make us feel like we're stupid. Like, you really think we're going to believe this? Now, if this is true, I'll be the first to say my apologies. I'll take it all back. But it's hard for me to sit here and believe that, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to piss on me and tell me it's raining. You're not, you're not going to sell me a bridge in Brooklyn. Like, look, look at her, you know, and nothing against the little girl. I'm just saying, like, she just does not look like she's been in that cave. Lost, trapped, where's the family? Like, y'all just happened to stumble upon her. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. No. Okay. Guess I'm done. Crawl her way into the depths of the cave all by herself without the use of a flashlight. They soon discover that she doesn't speak English. Motioning for her to follow them, the group lead her back to the surface where she's finally- She doesn't speak English, but she's automatically gonna go with y'all and just follow y'all out and trust y'all. Okay. Reunited with her worried parents. This video posted online by Jamal Kawaja shows the moment several tourists stumble across a group of bizarre troll-like creatures as they kayak their way through Rayleigh Bay in Krabi, Thailand. The furry creatures can be seen sheltering near a cave as they play some sort of strange hypnotic melody on unusual musical instruments. The bemused kayakers look on in disbelief. What the f what is that? Bro, what is that? Instruments. The bemused kayakers look on in disbelief as the big- Nah, they look like descendants of some of the people off of Hills Have Eyes, bro. Y'all remember that movie, Hills Has Eyes? That's what they- uh, Yo, get out of there, man. Beasts appear to perform just for them. When the video first surfaced, it whipped the internet into a frenzy, as viewers debated over what the mysterious creatures actually were. Some suggested aliens, while others thought they may have been some type of reclusive cave-dwelling animal that was yet to be discovered. It was later revealed, however, that the creatures were actually costumed actors, who were part of a stage performance by local group Thailand Biennale. And oh, now I see the, the little ship next to them, of course, now. I thought it was just some kayakers. Way to set us up for that one, bro. Because <laughs> I was about to say it, fam. That's Hills Have Eyes all over again, bro. Get out of there. And the bizarre sounds were created by traveling vocalist Tori Rains. Even though it was staged, the tourists initially had no idea, and the dumbfounded looks that you can see on their faces are quite real. Imagine paddling a kayak through the tranquil waters of a beautiful Thai island, and then stumbling across this bizarre scene. They better start letting people know. Them tourists had no clue what that was. That's a good way to get people shot. <laughs> Listen, man. What, what I just heard? Texas passed a law, man, that you don't even need a permit no more to carry a gun. You know what I'm saying? Concealed or not concealed, bro. Everybody gonna be having everybody gonna have guns soon. It's gonna be the wild, wild west again in a minute, bro. You pulling these little studs and not letting people know what's going on. That's gonna get somebody shot. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's gonna get somebody shot out here, bro. Be smarter. In August 2015, YouTuber Mr. Technical Difficult made a very creepy discovery. 
In the video, a group of friends can be seen relaxing by a river when the camera holder notices a strange white box floating downstream. He convinces one of the men in shorts to swim over to the other side and retrieve it. The mysterious box appears to be a drinks cooler that's been sealed with tape to stop it from opening. The man removes one of the pieces of tape and cautiously opens a small hatch. He immediately jumps back after spotting what he thinks is a small child. The camera holder then approaches the box to get a closer look. This time he- Y'all play too much, man. Y'all play too much. You know what I'm saying? And I hope they didn't like just try to pull this stunt, man, and make it seem like they discovered it. Number one, the, the, the cooler is super clean, bro. <laughs> super clean. It ain't been in the water that long. That, that, Y'all notice how white, white that, like, you you can nickname that cool that cooler Colgate, bro. That's how white white it is, bro. It's super clean, like whitening tooth teeth clean. And and yeah, just discover this clean behind doll in there, bro. Come on, man. Like stop it, bro. <laughs> stop. We're not gonna take it. We're not gonna take it. We're not. No, we're not gonna take it. Stop messing with us. You can see that it's not actually a small child in the box, but rather a doll that's been stuffed inside and left to float down the river. While it's possible that it could simply be a prank orchestrated by another group further upstream, it's still a very unsettling find. Dolls are creepy at the best of times, but discovering one in a box floating down river, that's a whole new level of nightmare. Yeah, don't play with me like that, please. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a YouTuber who thinks he's done or not. This video published on Bright Insights YouTube channel in 2018, not only claims that the lost city of Atlantis was real, but that its actual location has been hiding in plain sight for thousands of years. The video analyzes the descriptions of Atlantis found in the great philosopher Plato's dialogues, Timaeus and Critias. The works claim to quote Solon, an Athenian lawmaker and poet who travelled to Egypt between 590 and 580 BC, who was believed to have translated Egyptian records of Atlantis. Using Plato's words as a guide, the video suggests that the true location of Atlantis is likely to be the Richat structure in Mauritania, a country in northwest Africa. The structure, sometimes referred to as the Eye of Sahara, was originally thought to have been created by an increase of pressure caused by underlying magma, or even the impact of a large meteorite. The video goes on to suggest that the symmetrical circles of the Eye of the Sahara may have once been filled with water, and closely resembled the description given by Plato of the mysterious city. The video also compares several other striking similarities between Plato's descriptions and the geographical orientation of the Eye including a large mountainous region to the north and an inlet to the south that once possibly flowed with water. If this theory does indeed turn out to be true, it will no doubt be one of the greatest discoveries ever made by a YouTuber. If you want more creepy content... Couldn't keep nothing like that a secret, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Couldn't keep it, man. But uh, anyway, look at this. Look at this video, man, and tell me what y'all thought. Some of it I can I can rock with. Some of it is like, all right, man, y'all tripping a little bit too much, you YouTubers. But I get it. I get it, man. That's that's the day and age that we live in. You know what I mean? You got to understand, hey, to each his own. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. But uh, don't play us like you think we're stupid on some of these videos, though. That's all I'm saying. All right? Y'all get at me and let me know what y'all thought. The creepiest discoveries made by YouTubers. And, uh... Leave a like and stick around and stay tuned to the next reaction of my piece. Y'all stay solid. Hey.